This is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and we'll be making a football. Take a piece of clay in your hands, roll it into sort of a ball. And now you're going to take your hand, and you're going to put this part of it against the canvas, and you're just going to push down on that side. And then you can flip it and push it on the other side. Now this is going to bring down the sides a bit, you can also take your fingers and pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, keep doing that. Other side, pinch, turn, pinch, turn. And now I'm just going to roll it in my hands a little bit more to get that football shape. And then I'm going to smooth it. The nice thing about having recycled clay for this is that it's going to really form to what you want to quickly or soft clay. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to uh, do the finishing parts on it. Number one is doing those lines around. So you can see I have the paper clip sideways and I'm looking to see that I made it in the same place. And I can take and do it again here for the double line. And then I'm going to switch it to the other side. Smooth off those little areas where the clay has stuck to it. And now I'm going to make the strings. So I take a little tiny piece of clay Flip it between my fingers. No, that's too fat. Try it again. It's okay if it breaks because we're going to need several pieces there. All right, time to connect it. So what you're going to do is look at where you want it. Score. Make sure and score these on, otherwise they tend to fall off if you're using uh, the kind of clay that you're going to fire. Put some slip. Use tons of slip, it always just helps. And I want to score this piece. I score both pieces. and you're going to put it on. This part isn't going to show much because I'm going to put those little those little uh, strings that go across. I can just snip them off where I want. And it still has some scoring there, just need a little more slip. And one more. I think I like the thickness of this one a little bit better. This really soft clay doesn't need to be scored as much because I'm connecting it to soft clay. But if the clay is harder, I'll need to use more, more scoring. Okay, and now I'm going to clean it off. The best way to clean a, a small area is like this is first with your fingers. Notice I'm also going over the strings because they're now trying to crack just a little bit. And then I'm going to go with a pencil in those little areas where I can't quite get my fingers. Okay. Now I'm going to go through with this graffito tool on these lines because the glaze, if you're using a kiln, doesn't like to go on those little lines. I'm just 
going over the ones in the top since those are the only ones that are going to be glazed since it'll be scored and slipped onto something else at least in the way that we're using it there we go and now we're going to take the pencil to make that nice football texture we've got there don't press this in too deeply if you do, the glaze doesn't like to go in those little pencil lines. And this makes a really nice differentiation in texture from the stripes, from the strings. Okay, I can clean this up more once it dries a little bit. It's very fragile right now. And that is how you make a football. Now this is something that if you make it this large, you will have to hollow it out uh, later on. Thank you so much.